How you doing? My name is Javier Lopez. I'm 20 years old. My name is Martin Lopez. I am 20 years old. Hi, my name is Juan Lopez. I'm 22 years old. I'm Javier's and Martin's cousin. I drink to remember. I smoke to forget. Something to be proud of. I had my first beer, well, first taste of alcohol at the age of 16. Just like Javier, I started drinking at a really young age when I was also a teenager. Within the taste, I came to a realization that uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, even though Javier was really young and underage, he still always managed to, f to buy alcohol somehow. During my uh, senior year, I uh, started working. I had a pretty good job. I used to work in a superior super warehouse, but then I, uh, I let alcohol get in the way. I used to go in the freezer, start drinking alcohol. One day, I guess I got a little too drunk that a customer complained to the manager and the manager called me up to the front desk and he just told me that they were going to send the last check within the next week or two. Javier always used to come over to my house with booze and we always used to drink. Then he joined the army and I stopped drinking for a while. June 2004 I joined the military. Uh, I did ever do something different, try to change my lifestyle. From my point of view I wouldn't say he was an alcoholic. I mean how I see it, he used to use or look at alcohol more as a depressant type of drug. I got my first DUI in 2006, in October 2006, right after uh, Iraq. In a month, month apart, exactly a month apart, I got my second DUI. Uh, I don't know what was going on through my head. We just got him back from overseas. I don't judge him because, I mean, I don't know what some of the things that that he went through or that soldiers go through unless you experience it yourself. In 2011, I got another DUI. You might be a little bit depressed or upset, angry. So what's the drug, the only drug that you look to is alcohol. What I thought was my last DUI in 2011 got me kicked out of the military. So I did a, eight years, got a general and honorable discharge, which it's not bad, but it looks bad. And I started looking for a job and stuff. Um, in 2012, I started drinking again, the bad habit. Uh, I went to a party, I took my cousin with me, which wasn't really a good idea. I took him with me um, on the way back, we were just driving and uh, I'm not sure how it happened, but I ended up hitting another vehicle head on, which my cousin wants to wear his seatbelt, which ended up getting him a broken neck. I broke my neck and fractured one of my ribs uh, my parents blame Javier for the, the accident, but I, I blame myself for be drinking excessively. I kind of realized that it doesn't really affect only myself, but it affects everybody else. So I needed to change my life around. I started going to uh, AA meetings, but they weren't helping. I signed up for school for automotive, which kind of helped me out a little bit. Then I got more into it and uh, as a result of that, I actually got a pretty good job up in Yermo with the military, working on military vehicles, which has to do with the field that I want to proceed. So I guess you could say that's uh, my anti-drug. I am currently going to college and I also have a job. Javier is also living a good life. He is also currently going to school and is about to graduate. As a result of that uh, job that uh, ch helped me change my life around, I ended up buying a house out here in the middle of nowhere. From what people say, it's uh, Little Rock, California. It's next to Palmdale. It's about an hour and 30 minutes away from LA. But the scenery is peaceful, it's quiet. And it took me away from that lifestyle where you used to go partying a lot and you get acquaintances with the wrong people. Only then this little guy, Hershey, to uh, keep me busy. Uh, out here, I stay busy. I, got a couple of hobbies that uh, keep my mind busy and not thinking of alcohol or I want to hit the bottle. Working on vehicles is a passion now. It's not like it used to back in the days. I used to go buy me a 12 pack and get drunk and don't remember how I got home. Hopefully everything works out for uh, my life.